Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to quickly recreate the iconic Godfather movie poster with your own text and person. I provided a template that you can download so you can follow along. Its link is located in the video description or project files. Before we start, I want to point out that unless you already have the Godfather font installed on your computer, the Photoshop file will appear with a different font. However, I provided a link to the Godfather font so you'll be able to replace it with what you have. It includes the original Paramount Pictures Presents over the title, the hand logo, the title text which you can customize, a rose image, the movie credits, and a black background. Keep in mind each one of these can be resized if you choose to use a different aspect ratio for your poster. Open the photo of a person you'd like to use. If it's in color, desaturate it by pressing Control shift u on a PC or Command shift u on a Mac. Improve its overall brightness and contrast by pressing Control or Command shift l to invoke Auto-Tone. We need to make a selection around the subject so we can ultimately cut it out from its background. There are many ways to do this and I cover them in my tutorials. For this example, I'll use the Quick Selection tool. I'll use a size of 15 pixels. Depending on the size and resolution of your photo, you may want to use a different size. Make the hardness 100%. Drag the tool over your subject to select it. To remove areas of the selection, press and hold Alt or Option and drag over it. To see it as a quick mask, press Q on your keyboard. To paint over areas of the quick mask, open your brush tool, choose a relatively small size, and a hardness of 0%. Invert your foreground and background colors by pressing X on your keyboard. Now, paint over any empty areas around the subject and smooth out other areas. When you're done, press Q again to make the quick mask into a selection. Press Ctrl or Command J to cut the subject out from its background. To place it onto your poster, press V to open your Move tool and drag it up onto the tab of the poster. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the image and release. To resize and angle your photo, press Ctrl or Command T to open your Transform tool. To see the entire transform on your screen, press Ctrl or Command-0. Go to a corner, and when you see a straight double arrow, press and hold Shift and Alt on a PC, or Shift and Option on a Mac. Then drag it in or out. To angle it, when you see a curved double arrow, rotate it to an angle you like. Click on the photo to reposition it. When you're happy with the size, angle, and position, press Enter or Return. Then fit your document back on your screen. Go to Image, Adjustments, and Threshold. I'll leave the default threshold level at 128. For your photo, you may want to adjust this number. I'd like to paint black over her clothing. If you want to paint over areas in your photo, Open your pencil tool and choose a size that works for you. Keep the hardness at 100%. Now carefully paint over areas you want to make black and make sure you keep areas that are important to retain. To move the rose, click on its thumbnail to make the layer active, press V to open your move tool and move it. Use your Transform tool to resize it. We're ready to replace the title with your own text. Make the Godfather text layer active and open your horizontal type tool. 
I'm using a font called Corleone, which I provided for your convenience. Open the font link and click Install. Once you install the font, you won't see it right away. Highlight the text and go to Window and Character. In the Character panel, click on the icon at the upper right corner and click Reset Character. This automatically places the font in Photoshop, but you do need to manually replace the text with the new font. Click on the color box, pick White, and click OK. Find it in your list of fonts, and then click on it. Now, increase the size to 68 points. Type in whatever text you'd like. To slide the bottom line up, highlight the line, and in the Letting box, type in 60 points. Click on your Move tool, and close the text panels. To increase or decrease the size of this group, shift-click on the top layer to highlight all the layers between it and the active layer. Now open your transform tool, go to a corner, press and hold shift as you drag it out or in. Click inside to reposition it. Have fun recreating the classic Godfather poster with your own text and person. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.